Hello, this is going to be a video on responsiveness, going over the page settings you need to make your app responsive, on why groups are so important, on fixed width, max width, and alignment to help you make your app responsive. So let's just have a look at our app. We can already see if you've got a good eye that whereas these things at the top are all aligning, already this input is not really aligning, whereas on your editor, everything looks great. All aligning so first fix we have to do is we go on our outer page and it will start with a setting making everything a fixed width meaning that as we resize this page everything will just be cut off staying the same width we don't want this so we unclick it this also allows us to click the responsiveness editor to look how our screen will look at different screen sizes going through them here by the way, a tip is I would not have the standard width starting with 1300, but much smaller, like 900 pixel is a good kind of canvas size because it's much easier to resize something from 900 down to mobile, so 300, 400 pixel, than from 1300 to 400 pixel. And you can actually always make icons smaller, even, you know, using the kind of custom controls instead of using your mouse for tiny icons. So now the issue actually why these things are not aligning is that this repeating group is inside a group, whereas this is not in a group. So we want to group things that we want to stay in the same line. So I'm just selecting them by a control click, then grouping them, doing this everywhere. Then also here, I first want to make sure that this row always stays in one group and in one line, and then also having this group, so you can group a group, and it's the same over here. But actually, we'll find out it still doesn't look good at all. So one of the issues we'll see is that this group really gets much bigger now, whereas here we had this size. Over here, it's suddenly a huge size, so we want to have a max width, so it'll never get larger than the 302 pixel we set it. We do that for this one too. But now they're underneath each other, and actually what we want happening is we want this always to stay, and this always to stay together. So we again make more groups. So we control click here, control click here and group it. And then also, ideally, we want these groups to all start at zero. So this starts at zero, this at zero, this at zero. So they all start at the same. Okay. So it's a little bit better, but still not great. So what I was always would always advise is to start off with mobile because that's the smallest and has the most constraints to it. And maybe we want to make it even smaller to 300 to really see what's happening. And we want these to be in the same line, but this won't be able to happen because this element is still on fixed width, meaning it will never get smaller. We want to unclick the box and now it'll fit in one row, which is nice, but it'll start immediately on the leftmost side, which we might not want, we might want to have a nice space. So therefore, everywhere we want things to start, turn from the left. I'm just copy pasting the right x coordinate. Okay. So then when we have a look, it's looking much better, but we want the same with the ask button. So we subtract 10 from its coordinate. And we want to make sure that things here, they're overlapping, which you'll see does not look good. So we want to just make this one smaller. In general, we want to 
really reduce or minimize the elements that are overlapping. Also, we never really want groups to overlap. So for example, this group to go into this one, we do not uh, want this. Okay, so this first line is working out quite well. The next line, again, the issue of fixed width, we change it to make it smaller, and it seems to work quite well. Now the next issue is that this group has a width of 302, and this one doesn't, so we might want to have the group width similar and move this 18 over. This is 261. So now this aligns nicely. Here the same fixed width issue. Okay, here with this group, so by the way, we always start from the outside. So we could even first look at this repeating group and notice that the cells will never be smaller than 100 pixels, but actually our page is 300 pixels, so we can actually increase this to 300. But that won't change the fact that this group is just resizing to just 20% of its initial width in the editor. So that's too small for us. We actually wanted to fill out more space. We could even go for 99. It's looking better. And then we see that the text is not starting 10 from the left. So we made it left aligned. And the next issue here is this group is maybe too small. So we change it, but even then, what we notice is that this icon is not in the same line. So we actually want to right align this icon and left align these two icons so that in the same row. So now they're in the same row. We just left align the ones on the left and the right must be right aligned. And then, however, when we resize the page, we'll see this icon just moves further and further to the right as it's always right aligned. We don't want this. We want this group never to get larger than initially in the editor. So we apply a max width and now it always stays together no matter how we resize it. Okay, so going down here. So this seems to work and align. Here again, we've got the fixed width issue. And it's now the next issue is that this group is just too small. So we want to change it to 80 and now it seems to align nicely so everything is underneath each other then here we've got the text responsiveness we want to make sure the coordinates are the same so this one is 112 and we want this also to be 112 ideally we might even want the same uh, width so 306 we also change this to 306 And here we have this overlapping. We want to be careful that we don't have that too often. I try to, when I build an app, standardize everything so it's actually even numbers. So maybe this is always 300 and this is always 280 and starting 10 to the left and has 10 to go to the right. Okay, and we see now this will also align quite nicely. This group is a little too small. We can actually make it go larger. And here we've got a different distance. And we see that the issue is that the, this text is fixed width. So we reduce it from fixed width and now it's a similar distance. But again, this group is not starting on the way left, so we have to have another look. This is 112, this is 
we see we want to actually have the minimum width of this group quite similar to the width of the page and then it starts at the right x coordinate to align with everything else so now after we've aligned everything for mobile nicely what we can do is we can see what happens as we resize the page so everything is still staying but now we see this arrow is just spacing up far too far to the right so what we can do here is if we can't select the group we can always select it and click select parent and we want a max width again Okay, so now everything is moved over. It's quite nice. Sometimes it won't work exactly in between. So here, however, everything works nicely. Here we may also want a max width for this group. So it kind of stays nicely in line with everything else as we resize the other elements. And Yeah, voila, always good resizing. So just to look at the key takeaways. By the way, what can help is if you're having some issues with kind of this group or and this group underneath it not resizing properly, you can make this uh, left aligned. So not the outside group, but the ones one inside the outside, you can left align them. This usually also helps. Okay, so we started off making groups around things we want in the same line, then having everything start 10 to the left and 10 to the right, so it still looks good on mobile. Then if we want to have this element and this always underneath each other, we put in another group around these two. We try to make the groups the same length and start off on the same X coordinate. And then we go into the responsiveness editor and for go to mobile first, as this has the most constraints. Then we make sure these things are not fixed width, but kind of go smaller. And then the next part was making sure that the groups are also not too small, because for example, if we have 20, the, it will not fit in the same line. And then as the page got larger, we wanted to make a max width for some of the groups to keep things looking not out of proportion as we resize the page. And we also, by the way, want to make sure that, for example, these outer groups have the same alignment. So here we see this outer group and this outer group are all center aligned. And this will actually make a difference as we resize the page so, if, for example, here, if this one is left aligned and this center, it won't work. So, that's why we want center aligned in most cases for the outermost group, so it still looks good on mobile. And only for the groups within that group, we can make those left aligned. Okay, so, hope that gives you some pointers what to look at to make your app responsive and look nice. For more tips, check out tipster.com. Cheers.